everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I've got a cheeky little first impressions. So I did a big order on boots and I picked up quite a few things that were trending on TikTok. Just nearly dropped the entire box on the floor, but good start. So yeah, I picked up a few things that were trending on TikTok. So I've got the NYX brow glue. I've got some primer to try out. I've even got the Fenty skin tint to try out as well. So if you guys want to see a full face of first impressions, how they wear, how they apply, then just keep watching. So I think the first thing that I'm going to start off with is the NYX The Brow Glue. I've heard a lot about this. I'm hoping it's like the got to be, I was going to call that a brow gel, but it's not a brow gel. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a bit like that so that my brows can stay like nice and fluffy. I've heard a lot of people raving about this, so I've got high expectations. Um, there's no colour to it, it is literally just a transparent brow gel. So it's got like that sort of gloopy consistency to it so again i do have high ex high expectations for this so i'm just gonna fluff my brows up like normal so whilst i'm applying this i just want to tell you about the claims so it claims to style brow hairs and set into place a non-sticky transparent formula with a precise spoolie for easy application and one thing i will say is the spoolie on it is really nice i'm intrigued to see if it sets down or dries down as quick as the got to be brow glue brow glue hair gel but I do like how it's spiking them up so far. So just a quick comparison between the two brows. You can see that this one has a lot more height to it and it's more fluffy. So I do actually quite like how that looks. I'm just going to carve out my brows and fill them in like normal just to see how everything applies on top and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and this is how the brows are looking. I'm not going to lie, I am pretty impressed. The only problem that I have with it is it sort of like sticks and dries down to your skin a little bit. So I feel like you would probably need to get like a makeup wipe and take that off. But so far, first impressions, I am really impressed with how they're looking. They're nice and fluffy. They're also not crunchy as well. I was like sort of touching them as I was filling them in to make sure that they weren't super crunchy or anything like that. So the next new product to me, I feel like has already been hyped about way before I even thought about this video. This is the Benefit Roller Liner and I've got the shade brown in this. So I picked up a brown one because I feel like liquid liner can look a little bit harsh sometimes. I like to go for a brown liner so it looks a bit softer and a bit more natural. So I did just get the mini one just in case I weren't that much of a fan on it. The tip on this looks really nice. It's nice and sharp and pointy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to sort of map out the shape with this. So this is one side with the eyeliner on. It's a very dark, dark brown. It almost does look black. However, the formula was really nice. It's really pigmented. So as soon as you put it on the skin, like there's instant pigment. And with the tip being so thin and precise, it's nice to get that sharp wing. The only problem I will say is with it being a mini, I feel like I didn't have a lot of control over the pen. But again, that's my fault because I picked up the mini. I'm going to quickly do the other eye off camera and then I might do an inner corner cat wing when I finish like the rest of the face. So these wings aren't even scissors at this point. They're not even remotely close. I'm going to pop on some mascara really quickly. If you don't know about this mascara, which I'm sure you do, everyone does. But this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. If you don't know about this, then get to know. This mascara is unreal. I've never known a mascara that lengthens and gives you volume at the same time without looking clumpy. The formula in this, I don't know what L'Oreal has put in here, but it's amazing and I don't think I'll use a different mascara ever since picking this back up. Like that's just a few swipes. Honestly, unreal. Like the difference in lashes. So we're moving straight on to skin. So for primer, I've got the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. I've heard Michaela on Snapchat, no, what? I've heard Michaela on TikTok rave about this quite a bit. Um, she seems to like it and anything Michaela likes, I like. So I've decided to pick this up and give it a go. I did smell it um, yesterday because I thought marshmallow must be really nice and it is like, the more you leave it, like the more it smells like marshmallow. It just smells like, like when you've toasted marshmallows. The formula is, it's like a moussey whipped sort of texture. It's going on the skin nice and smooth as well. It feels quite moisturising and quite hydrating. I'm not sure if this is for a certain skin type. I feel like it's given my skin a nice healthy glow as well. To be honest, 
Um, I don't really know if primers do anything. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. The next thing, everyone has seen it all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram and it's not the KVD Good Apple Foundation. It's the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. So these are a blurring skin tint. These are supposed to be light to medium coverage for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection and light as air. I feel like these are supposed to be for all skin types as well. So if you've got oily, dry, normal skin, this is supposed to work well for you. So I've got mine in the shade six and I'm just gonna pray to the high heavens that it matches me. Do you know what? I actually really like that primer so far. It looks really nice and healthy on the skin. There's like a nice glow to it. But anyway, moving on to the skin tint. So it's quite a small bottle. If I just compare it to like my other foundation. So this one's the L'Oreal True Match and then this is the Fenty Skin Tint. But supposedly, looking on the back of the packaging, this is supposed to have more product. This is 32 mil and the one I've just shown you is 30. I'm just gonna squeeze a bit of this on the back of my hand. It's quite runny, the formula, and I feel like that's gonna be a really good match as well to say that a shade matched online. Right, so I'm just gonna basically dot this all over my face, like I would do with my normal foundation. The formula seems a little thicker than what I normally use. I'm just gonna take my sponge and start to blend it in. I really hope this doesn't oxidize because then I feel like it will be too dark. I think that is a really good shade match. Do you know what? That is a really nice skin tint. Literally looking at my skin close up, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything and it's not clung to like any eczema that I get underneath my nose. And my skin is still peeking through. Recently, I've been having more of like a softer approach to makeup, so I'll only wear like the tiniest amount of foundation, if that sometimes, and then just sort of spot conceal. There's a nice glow to it as well, but I'm not sure if that's from the foundation or the primer. I am gonna see if it's buildable. So it's definitely buildable. The first layer is definitely, definitely light coverage. However, the second layer I would say is more medium, but it doesn't look heavy at all. Like your skin still shows through and it just, it just sits really nicely on top of the skin. If you look at my skin close up and just see how nice and how flawless like my base is looking, and this is just with primer and foundation. I do get the hype, I do understand the hype with this foundation now, I can see why everyone's raving about it. So the next product is going to be a cream contour, this is also from Fenty Beauty. So it's the Cheeks Out Free Cell Cream Bronzer, I have mine in the shade Teddy. I really like Rihanna's packaging, I feel really like bouge when I have something from the Fenty line. Something tells me I got something way too dark. With it being a cream that's in the pan like that as a pause, as a pause? as opposed to like a stick form. I'm just gonna start again. With this being a cream in a pan as opposed to like a stick formula, I'm just gonna take a synthetic brush and pick up some of that product. That looks creamy. I'm just gonna start at the cheekbones. Bronze me up, Riri. And then I'm gonna put a little bit just on the forehead. I'm just gonna start light because this color is quite deep. I'm also going to put a little bit just underneath the lip and then I'm going to do the chin, the jawline and a little bit on the nose as well. Right, so maybe I should have sort of started somewhere, see how it blends out and then do the rest of my face. I'm going to pray that this doesn't take forever to blend out. I'm just going to start on my chin really quickly. So I've just blended it out on my chin and I feel like it's that perfect undertone for contouring. Maybe that's a bit premature to say that, but so far I am enjoying this. I'm actually just gonna do the forehead really quickly, seeing as though there's a bit extra product on there. That just melts into the skin. I don't even think you can see the product. Do you know what though? That's nice, you know. I feel like I'm gonna apply a little bit more, but just using this brush just to see if I can get a bit more colour payoff. Look at me just chilling here without like blending my nose out like. Right, so I feel like I've got a nice amount of product on the brush. Just gonna stipple that around my forehead. Yeah, you definitely get more payoff that way. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much. 
yeah i really like that cream bronzer 100 percent that is staying in my makeup collection i'll definitely be using that more in the future because i just think it looks really nice next is concealer so this is from the xx revolution line i feel like these are a dupe of fenty i want to say just because like the packaging sort of looks similar i'm getting like hourglass fenty sort of vibes with this i've got mine in the shade cx2 by the way so i do want to use it for highlighting so the scent is a lot like if you've ever tried the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, it's a lot like that where it sort of smells like paint. I know that sounds bad, but it's not like super potent, but it does have that scent to it. And then it does have a nice big doe foot applicator on it. And it holds a lot of product as well, so I feel like I won't have to keep dipping in. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. That's a lot of product that's on the applicator. This is another product that I hope doesn't dry down too quick because if it does we're going to have a bit of trouble blending it out but I'm just going to take that same sponge that I've been using and then just lightly push that into the skin. I feel like it looks really bright on camera but in person it doesn't. So you definitely don't need a lot of product with this, it spreads really far. The true test for me with concealers would be underneath my eyes. I'm sorry, what? This video is going really well so far. Have you seen the coverage that's like underneath my eyes? From this area to this area and how smooth it looks as well. My all time favorite concealer is from the drugstore and it's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo, camo concealer, I think that's what it's called. So if anything can top that, then it's definitely a winner. I feel like that one's a little bit too dry, whereas this one, the formula is just... Oh my god, I didn't blend out the contour underneath my lip. This concealer is no joke. It just blends out so effortlessly. Okay, so I'm going to show you my skin up close again, just so you can see how everything's looking without powder and how things are sitting on top of each other. That concealer is probably my new favourite. It's probably my favourite thing out of this video it is starting to like settle into fine lines but i feel like that's because the formula is so like it's quite a wet formula so i'm gonna i'm gonna get my next product and set this really quick before it starts to crease the next product is did i just buy fenty i feel like i just bought fenty this probably should have been like a full face of fenty beauty but Apparently I didn't know what we were ordering. <laughs> this is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I got the shade Butter. I feel like this is cheaper than Laura Mercier as well. So if this is a good powder, I feel like I'll be repurchasing it. But the packaging again is just so, it's so cute. I'm like mesmerized because I can see my ring light off it. <laughs> Small mind. I'm gonna tap a little bit of this out into the cap. I'm actually gonna sift a little bit in. I feel like that's easier. It looks really finely milled, the powder does. I'm not sure if you can see on camera. I'm just gonna quickly blend out underneath my eyes again to make sure that the concealer hasn't creased. And then I'm gonna take a bit of that powder with my sponge and then just quickly set. I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna push this into the skin. Is that me or is that like brightened up my eyes a lot? I feel like underneath my eyes look really bright after using that powder. I'm also going to use this with a fluffy brush just to set the rest of my face. Powders and me don't normally mix well and I know that's strange to say that I've got oily skin but it's just like underneath my eyes they tend to like dry up and look quite cakey so I always have to look out for that when I'm testing out a new powder. So the powder's definitely mattified my face and any shine that I had. I don't know if it's something to hype about too much though. I feel like the Vici powder that I use in all of my other videos is probably a little bit better so far. The true test will probably be like whether it holds up throughout the day and whether I get oily. I mean it's nice don't get me wrong and it was a really nice colour for like underneath the eyes to help brighten but I don't feel like it's anything too too crazy next product Fenty I promise this is the last Fenty product I've just had a look and I'm just like why did I order so much Fenty but this is another bronzer so this is the Sunstalker instant warmth bronzer so it's basically the powder version of the cream one and I have mine in the shade Island Tin I think that's how you say it 
So I'm just going to pick this up on my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JHO2. This is my favourite bronzer brush. And then I'm going to start along the hairline. One thing I will say is that it's going on nice and smooth. It's not going on patchy and it is blending out really easy. I've just realised I had a liquid highlighter to try and a cream blush. And I've already powdered my entire face. Right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attempt to apply some cream highlighter. So this is from Morphe, it's a part of the Madison Beer collaboration that they did. And this is in the shade Fairy Tears, it's more of a pinky toned highlight. If this cakes up, it's definitely because I've already got powder on, but I feel like it'll be a good test to see if you can use a cream on top of a powder. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand. By the way, that bronzer is strong. So I'm going to pick up some of that on the back of my hand and then just apply it on top of the cheekbones. This could go so wrong. I feel like you can't see that at all. Where is it? Right, on this side I'm going to pick it up on the sponge and then apply it the same way. No, I'm sorry but I cannot see that. Save your money if you don't buy that, I'm sorry but that is... I can't see that anywhere on the skin. Maybe it would be better like on top of creams or maybe it's meant to be really natural and you're not meant to see it that much don't know um maybe don't buy it <laughs> so because i am an idiot and forgot to apply my cream blush i'm going to apply a little bit of powder blush and then i'll be back afterwards so that highlighter looks hella cakey on top of my cheekbones after applying a bit of blush that again could probably probably be my fault from applying all the powders first but there's just no pigment there, there's no glow, so I don't like it. So I'm just going to do an inner corner cat wing with the eyeliner that we were using earlier. I won't lie to you, that was actually really easy to do. It wasn't like, didn't feel like it was going to be a messy application. It was actually quite easy and precise. So the last thing to do is lips. So I've got the NYX Peekaboo lip liner here. There's a girl on TikTok, I can't find her name and I can't find her videos, but she's been raving about all the NYX lip liners. Um, old shades, new shades and how she overlines her lips with them. So I'm going to attempt to slightly overmine, li overmine, overmine line, overline my lips with them. So this again is the Peekaboo lip liner. I've been trying to get my hands on this for ages and Boots finally had it in stock. It's a very creamy formula and it's sort of like my lips but better shade. So I feel like I've maybe gone a little bit overboard overlining my lips but the formula for that was really nice. I've never had such an easy application when overlining my lips and I feel like they look really even as well. Sometimes when I overline them one side looks bigger than the other but I feel like they look fairly even. So I'm going to go over top with a gloss. This is by Maybelline and it's their Lifter Gloss. The colour of this looks identical to the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fussy. So I'm hoping that the formula is as well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this on top. It does also have hyaluronic acid in it as well. So it's going to keep your lips nice and moisturised all day. The colour really does look like Fenty. And the shine as well, the shine is so nice. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm going to quickly tell you the products that I really enjoyed so far. So the first thing that we used being the NYX Brow Glue, I really did enjoy this. My brow hairs have stayed up nice and fluffy so far, not crunchy, they haven't fallen down. I really do like that product, I feel like I will keep using this on a regular basis. I really like that NYX primer as well. Again, I don't know if primers do anything, for me I've not really noticed a difference, but it did moisturise my skin and give me a nice glow. And then on top of that I really did enjoy the foundation and the concealer as well. The things that I didn't really enjoy the most would be the... Morphe highlighter, I mean, 
fairy tears feel like I'm gonna start crying real tears because I have no glow on my face whatsoever. And I do like the powder from Fenty Beauty, the Pro Filter powder, but I feel like it's a little overhyped just because feeling my face, I, I put quite a bit of it on and it feels a little bit tacky still. It may be a little bit overhyped or maybe I just need to test it out for the rest of the day and again, see if any oils do start to peek through. I feel like they will, they always do with any foundation or powder that I use, but I'm definitely gonna give it another shot. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly jump off camera. I'm gonna go out for a bit today and then I'll check in with you at like five o'clock, I wanna say, what time is it now? So it's 10 past 3 now and I'll check in with you at around 5 o'clock just to see how everything's looking on my face. Alright, so it's around 20 past 5 now. I've had this on for just a few hours, um, as you can tell by my lip liner. And I just want to say that like, I think it's the concealer, I'm not entirely sure, but it's like creased around my mouth there and underneath my eyes, which I'm really surprised at because it was like a really thin formula, so I didn't think it was gonna do that. But I have got a little bit sort of dewy in the space of like two hours, which I'm not really mad about. It's not like loads of oils have come through. Um, but I do actually like that powder because it's not caked up on my face in like between my eyebrows or underneath my nose where my eczema is. So I do like that powder. I do see why people rave about it. And like I said before, like I said before, it is cheaper than the Laura Mercier. So I probably will be repurchasing that instead of the Laura Mercier powder. So yeah, I do enjoy that. I have got a little bit of dewiness sort of on my cheekbones here. Again, I feel like that's probably from either the primer or the foundation. The brows and the eyeliner have stayed fully intact. I'm really impressed with that brow product. That's probably another favorite from this first impressions. And I do really like the bronzer and the cream bronzer as well, but I feel like it's gone a little bit patchy just above my brows, like on my forehead. It's mainly more towards my hairline. That could have probably been a blending problem. I probably didn't blend it in enough. It probably wasn't the actual formula itself. It's probably me. <laughs> so from this first impressions, there's two things that I didn't agree with. That would be the highlighter and the concealer. I'm gonna give this concealer another shot by trying maybe less product out and seeing if that works better. And then same with the Morphe Madison Beer highlight. I had high hopes for this, just with it looking so nice on the back of my hand. When I rub it out, the formula seems really nice and it does have a nice little sheen to it. But again, when I put it on my face, there was just... There was nothing there. <laughs> if I can urge you to buy anything from this first impressions video, then I'd definitely say go ahead and buy the Fenty Ease Drops. These were amazing. They applied really nice on my skin. Second layer, it was medium coverage. Obviously, if you want more of that light coverage where your skin can peek through, then I'd just stay with the first layer. But this was really, really nice and another favorite from this video. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below because it really helps me out and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's really awkward saying bye and I don't know why. Bye.